And thanks for joining us for uh, this weekend's uh, update. And I've got Michelle Osmanski with me. She's our children's pastor here at MCC. And I've asked her to join us because there is an event that is about to happen that I want to make sure you knew about and you got to hear about it from her. But before I do that, I do want to say this. Uh, so it's, it's the family dedication and Michelle and Megan uh, both work hard to put this together. So it's a great event. Megan is our nursery preschool director. Uh, Michelle oversees all of our children's ministries, nursery through fifth grade. And I just want to say in front of you, in front of them, you two do a great job with this stuff. And I can't tell you how much it means to me, uh, not just because I've had children come up through uh, children's ministry, but because I now have grandchildren who are coming up. And so it means a ton to me, just the work that you all do. So thank you for well, doing that. It is a pleasure. We love working with children and working with families. And so this Saturday, at four o'clock, we will be hosting Family Dedication. And Family Dedication is such a wonderful event because it's a time where we come together with parents, with families, with friends, and a partnership to help encourage them in their commitment to raise their kids to love and serve Jesus. Right, and so to be real clear, the, this is not, we're not asking you to register at this point. You actually, it's kind of too late to be a part of it, right? Well, yes, we've already had families register for the event. In fact, they've actually done homework for this event. They've been preparing since April and parents have been watching videos. Mm. They've also had some homework, so they will be writing a letter and this letter has five different characteristics and traits <laughs> that they are praying over and writing in their letter that they will be asking God to bless their child with. Wow. Yeah, and so then they'll take this letter when their child graduates from high school and read to their child at that time, which I have a daughter getting ready to graduate and I can't tell you just what a powerful um, memento that would be. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, it, that's one of my favorite parts of this event is because the families share this letter, of course, at family dedication with their family members and they read it over their child because most of the kids are too young to really understand at this point but to receive a letter from your parents from 18 years prior or you know however many years before it was depending on how old the child is at the event but uh, to hear what they were praying for you and then to even be able to look backwards and see where maybe they made decisions that helped you see that absolutely it's it's such a powerful Thing. And you know, this year is really exciting because not only do we have infants, we also have children up to the age of 10. Wow. We've had families coming to church that said, this is important and I want to make a promise yeah. to God and a promise to our family and our church that I'm going to raise my child to love and follow God. And so we're exciting, excited to partner with them in that. Yeah, that. I'll tell you what, that's why I love this event, why I love our children's ministry. But I'm going to tell you when parents engage, when they, when they decide that they're going to be intentional about this, they're going to be strategic about this. As their child grows, they want to be involved in building their faith foundation and helping them get a good start. That, that's huge. So thank you for, for this weekend. It's going to be great. And, you know, every time I think about this event, I think of Psalm 127, unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. And that it's not talking about a physical house. I think we all know that. But it's talking about building the family. And so thank you for helping families uh, do that at MCC. It's going to be great. Hey, Absolutely. and Sunday morning, we get to see those families, right? We'll be praying with them uh, during right. our service, during the 11 o'clock service. During the 11 o'clock service. But we'll have a video of the kids uh, at all of our services. And, and, uh, and look forward to that. And I'm looking forward to uh, this Sunday uh, talking about in Galatians, uh, what is most important, because Paul talks about that in Galatians 5. If you want a little hint, Galatians 5, 6, he tells us what is most important. And so we're going to talk about that in line with, because this weekend is Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Yeah, don't forget. By the way, I may have just saved somebody's life. So uh, become prepared. Moms, we have a gift for you. It's going to be great. We're going to have fun. It'll be a great Sunday. 
And uh, whether you're joining us online or on campus, I'll look forward to seeing you there.